friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I track calories and macros. Happy Monday, it is Monday, so it is meal prep day. I am so excited, like so excited about this week's recipes. So if you're excited too, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload a new meal prep every Monday in five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I lost 90 pounds in 2022 and 138 pounds total. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things my recipe website where you'll find all three of today's recipes and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. breakfast this week, I am making a hash brown bake. I'm pretty excited for this. It's packed with protein, so such a great choice for breakfast. I'll probably pair it with my favorite fruit. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need some milk. I'm gonna use Fairlife just for the extra bit of protein. Dijon mustard, a pound of 99% ground turkey, or if you can find a really lean turkey sausage, I couldn't find one, so I'm just going to kind of create my own using 99% lean ground turkey. Salt and pepper, these are my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders. I'll make sure I link them down below for you. And since I am creating my own sausage, I'm going to add some sage to give it the taste of sausage. Some light shredded cheese, eggs, a red bell pepper, and some hash browns. I chopped up my red bell pepper. Now I'm going to go ahead and brown my ground turkey. So I'm going to add salt, pepper, and sage, and we're going to let this brown and cook through completely. I went ahead and greased my nine by 13 baking dish. We're adding in 20 ounces of hash browns into the bottom. Then we're going to sprinkle the sausage right on top of the hash browns. Then the chopped up red bell pepper. Go ahead and set that aside, grab out a bowl. We're going to crack 12 eggs into the bowl. Then we're adding one cup of milk, about two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, salt and pepper, and then you can do red pepper chili flakes if you want. You guys know I don't really like my food spicy, so I'm actually going to skip those, but that is something that you can add as well. Whisk that all together, just like you're making some scrambled eggs. Then we're going to pour the egg mixture right on top of the sausage. It's going into a 375 degree oven for about 45 minutes. Look at how amazing this looks. This smells so cheesy and delicious. I can't wait to have this for breakfast this week. Like I said, my plan is to pair it with some fruits for some healthy carbs, some extra fiber. I will go ahead and put all of the nutritional information and points here on the screen for you, but I can't recommend this enough for an easy breakfast that is ready to go. Set yourself up for success right out of the gate in the morning. For my lunch this week, I'm making a high protein roll up that's going to have some healthy fat, some veggies. I'm actually really excited about this. I'm going to make up two servings worth, so two lunches, and then I'll just repeat this midway through the week and make up a couple more servings so that I have enough for the week. So let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need some cucumbers, lunch meat of your choice. I'm going with some turkey breast from Hillshire Farm, one third less fat cream cheese, Dijon mustard, avocado, light shredded cheese, and a red bell pepper. First thing you're going to do is julian or slice up your cucumbers, your avocado, and your bell pepper. So we're ready to assemble our roll up. So I weighed out four ounces of my turkey and we're going to lay this out flat. We want to make sure that the slices of turkey are connected and make it into kind of a circle shape or like an odd shaped circle, kind of a rectangle circle, but you want to lay it all out nice and flat. 
And then I also weighed out two ounces of my one third less fat cream cheese. You want it to be softened a little bit. Mine is still, it could be a little more softened. I think it would spread a little bit easier, but you basically just want to spread that out over the lunch meat. The softer your cream cheese is, the better, but I was able to get it mainly spread out. Then we are going to go ahead and layer about half of a cup, which was half of that red bell pepper right on top. About half of a cup of sliced cucumbers, half of an avocado, and then I have a third cup of light shredded cheese. Kind of spread that in the middle there. And then as carefully as you can, this is gonna be full. We wanna roll this up kind of like you're making sushi. Do your best to keep all the veggies and stuff inside. It's definitely harder than it looks, harder than it sounds in the directions. So that's what we have. We have kind of a burrito style of roll up. I have a glass storage container and it says to cut it in half inch rounds, but since this is two servings, what I'm going to do is slice it in half first and then slice the half in half. And then the tricky part is getting it into the little storage container. Here is what your rounds look like. Go ahead and add those to your storage container. And here's what the meat roll-ups look like. Once they sit in the fridge for a while, it will make it so they stay together a little bit better. You could pair this with some ranch dressing. You can eat it just as it is, but you'll actually get two roll-ups or half of the large roll for one serving. So this is very high in protein, great in healthy fat, great in vegetables. So I will go ahead and put all of the nutritional information and points here on the screen for you. I plan on pairing this with some type of healthy carb, maybe a cracker, and then going, and then some fruit as well. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making turtle energy balls. I'm actually really, really excited for these. Troy's also excited for these. Even though there's cocoa powder in there, it's not enough to make them taste like chocolate. So we can't wait to have these this week. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need some unsweetened cocoa powder, chia seeds, almond butter of your choice. I'm going to use the turtle cheesecake almond butter from American Dream Nut Butter because these are turtle energy balls, so how perfect is this going to be? You know how much I love my American Dream Nut Butter. It's less calories, less fat, less points, more protein than traditional peanut butter, so I love it. It's all I eat as far as nut butter goes. I will link American Dream Nut Butter down below with 10% off for you, but we are going to add some of this delicious turtle cheesecake almond butter, some salt, vanilla extract. I have some vanilla bean paste I'm using up, some pecan halves, and some medjool dates. So the first thing we're going to do is pit our dates. We want to add 12 pitted dates to a bowl of hot water for about 10 minutes. We're basically rehydrating the dates. Into a food processor, a blender, or in my case, a magic bullet, we're going to add our dates once they've been sitting in that hot water. Make sure that you drain any excess water. I have half of a cup of the American Dream Nut Butter Turtle Cheesecake. Let me just tell you that the mix-ins in here, oh my goodness, this, this one is such a good flavor. I have half of a cup of pecan halves. We're going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract a pinch of salt, one tablespoon of chia seeds, and then two tablespoons of cocoa powder. I'm gonna pop my lid on and get this onto my magic bullet. Here is the mixture. So it is a little bit on the thicker side, but it needs to go in the refrigerator for about an hour so that we're actually able to roll it into balls. One hour later. So for the energy balls, I'm actually going to use a cookie scoop. I think this is gonna be a little bit easier to scoop them out. And I'm going to put them here on a baking sheet and then I will pop them back in the refrigerator and that's how we'll store them. It is a softer consistency. So if you store them in the refrigerator, they'll hold their ball shape, but I'm actually really excited for these. They smell absolutely amazing. 
Our goal is to get about 20 of our energy balls. So here are the turtle energy balls. These look absolutely amazing. I'm going to add some plastic wrap to the top, throw these in the refrigerator until they're a little more hardened. Then I'll throw them in a storage container for the week. But I'll go ahead and put all of the nutritional information and points here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for another weekly meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes. Don't forget they are on my recipe website, which is linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come and join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.